De Beers is pulling the plug on its lab-grown diamond brand Lightbox. What does this mean for the future of diamonds? Natural and synthetic? Let's break it down. Before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you never miss a flash update on major business moves like this one. De Beers is officially winding down Lightbox, its lab-grown diamond jewelry brand launched in 2018. The move comes as synthetic diamond prices have crashed and competition heats up, especially from China and even supermarkets in the US. Lab-grown stones are now tracking closer to a cost-plus model, losing their luxury edge. With prices down 90% at wholesale, De Beers is stepping away from the jewelry side of synthetics, calling it a separate category from natural diamonds. The shutdown is part of De Beers' new origin strategy, streamlining its operations and refocusing on rare high-value natural diamonds. Instead of competing in the mass-market lab-grown space, De Beers wants to reignite demand for the real thing through stronger marketing. But it's not the end of synthetics, De Beers' subsidiary Element 6 is going all-in on industrial applications. Think semiconductors, quantum tech and high-end industrial tools, not engagement rings. With its state-of-the-art Oregon facility and a global network of partners, Element 6 is leading the way in the booming world of synthetic diamonds for technology. CEO Al Cook says this is all part of the plan as De Beers prepares to become a standalone company. The message is clear. Natural diamonds remain the crown jewel of the business, while synthetics find a new purpose in cutting-edge industries. So, Snap Flash fam, are you Team Natural Diamond or Team Lab Grown? And is De Beers making the right call stepping away from synthetic jewelry? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you found this breakdown insightful, give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more industry updates. We've got your next newsflash ready, stay tuned. De Beers is doubling down on tradition and betting big on the luxury value of natural diamonds, while giving synthetic stones a second life in tech. This isn't just a business pivot, it's a signal of where the diamond industry is headed next. Thanks for watching Snap Flash, keep shining and stay informed.